nation guaranteed to make you say. And now here's the star of our show, Tom Kennedy. Oh, yes. Hello there. Thank you very much. Hey. Hi there. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome to our show. You pronounce it. And we play with people like Nelda Cook and also David Tapp. This is Nelda. She's our champ. This is David Tapp. How are you today? Well, Nelda, we've been hanging around together for some time now, Nelda yeah. and I. Nelda, so far, has earned $2,160. She's from Saugus, mother of four, grandmother of five. Five. Yep. Dave Tapp just joined us. Let me see if I can remember. Second year dental student. That's right, Tom. From Los Angeles. From Los Angeles. At UCLA. Indeed. And single. Still. Okay, still. <laughs> and last time when we interrupted our game, David had just won the first round. So that means for round two, David will charge the board and Nelda will block. Now the board is devoted to bad guys and girls. Hmm. So the charger behind the arrow and the blocker behind the stop signal, take your positions if you would, please. Bad guys and girls it is, huh, Dave? It is. Let's see how well you do on this one. To get to the top of the, uh, pardon me, to win a round, all you have to do is get to the top of the board in 60 seconds. But, however, Nelda's going to play six blocks somewhere on that board, and every time you hit one of those blocks, you're going to lose five seconds on the clock. But if you get to the top, you win the round. And if you don't get to the top, Nelda wins it. Whoever wins two rounds wins the game. All the money they've gathered along the way and a chance at $25,000 in hard, cold cash. Out you go there, Charger. Out of sight and out of hearing, and there you go. Bloom. All right, Nelda. You get to play six blocks, as you probably know, but I want to tell you, you can only place one block on the sixth level, no more than three on any of the remaining ones, and you'll be credited right. with the amount of money attached to the blocks that David might run into. So, go to work, Nelda. All right. I think this time, Tom, I'll start on level three, please, right. with uh, 20 mm -hmm. and 40. Mm -hmm. On level four... 10, 20, and 30. Yes. And, and on level... One left. Uh, level 6. Let's try 350. 350, right in the middle. That's a little bit different from all your previous strategies, I do believe. All right, now let's try it out. Now, David, I will remind you that you won the first round. So, in other words, if you win this one, you're our new champ. If, if Nelda wins it, then, of course, we'll have a tiebreaker. Also, now, remember, if time is running short, you can call long shot. And when you do that, we'll stop the clock. There it is. Bad guys and girls, 60 seconds on the clock, so giving me the level and the money amount. Char! Level 150 dollars! 150! In gangster talk, a C note is hard to sing. I is a shot! Same level one. Uh, $30. 130. King Kong was displayed as the eighth blunder of the world. Blunder! Charge. Level 250. 250. As their favorite vacation spot, Hitler and Ava Braun went to Palm Springs. Braun. Same level two. 240. A spy secretly working for both sides at once is an insurance agent. <laughs> I, uh, I, I know. Same level two. $10. 210. In California, some capital offenders are sentenced to die in a gas line. Chamber. Charge. $350. $350. Cosa Nostra actually translates to I'm gonna mess up a youth thing. Uh, uh, same level three. $10. 310. Uh, Robert Stroud was the bird brain of Alcatraz. Birdman! Car. Level 450. 450. Evil scientist Dr. Mabuse uses hippo to overpower his victim. Mom shot! <laughs> All right, he calls her long shot. because I'm a good guy, that's why. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah. All right. Well, you sure had Nelda fooled. Anyway, you have two seconds left on the clock, so that long shot takes you from the fourth level up to the sixth level. Now, Nelda, there are three secret buttons on your podium. You can press one of them now, if you will, please. That'll press the secret button, uh, pardon me, a secret block on the sixth level. There it is. Now, there may also be a previously placed block on that level as well, but if you find the blooper and if you correct it, you win the round and the game. Anything else, Nelda wins the round, and then we'll have a tiebreaker. Dave, three positions. Which one do you want? Level six, 500. 500. One of the most feared gunslingers of the Old West was Warren G. Harden. Tom Harden. That is oh. not it, and Nelda wins the round, and we have a tiebreaker coming up. We've got lots of work to do. Come on over here, Dave. Now stay right there, Nelda. Come on over here, Dave, and let's unscramble some of these bloopers on level one. A gangster talk, and gangster talk, a C note, is $100. Oh, C no. for 100 yeah. Oh. Level two, a spy secretly working for both sides at once is a double, double agent. agent. And, and uh, Hitler and Eva Braun went to 
uh, Berchtesgarten, and on level three, the Cosa, Nost Cosa Nostra actually translates to our thing. And on level four, evil scientist Dr. Mabuse uses hypnosis, not hippos. And on the sixth level, one of the most feared gunslingers of the Old West was John Wesley, Wesley Harden. Harden. Yes. Uh, so that was another good round, and Nelda hung in there. So now it's one round apiece. Whoever wins the next round will have a chance at $25,000. The category is dance. Nelda, it is your choice. On dance, do you want to charge or do you want to block? I'll block. She's um, going to block. That means you're going to charge on out of here, David. Go on out there. Nelda, blocking position. Time to after this. David Ruprecht here. Let's play Super Duper Supermarket Sweep. You could win prizes and see your name on TV. For more details, visit our Instagram page. Starts Monday at 9 p.m. 6 Pacific only on Buzzer. Starting out, life in line or call now. now this is our tie-breaking round. Our charger is already out of sight and out of hearing. And here is Nelda, our current champ, who's about to place her six blocks on the dance board. Well, I don't think this guy's going to know too much about dance, so I'm going to uh, try the easy side. Level two, let's take uh, 10 and 20. All right. Uh, level three, 20. Uh-huh. Level four, 10 and 30. All right. One and left. And then one left. Uh, level six, uh, 350. Okay. All right. Mostly on the easy side, as you said. It's the tie-breaking round, and here comes David Tapp. Sorry, right, David, whoever wins this round has a chance. And don't think about it too much. $25,000 in cash, but I just thought I'd mention that to put you at ease. Now, you have 60 seconds to get to the top, so giving me the level and the money amount. Charge! Number one, $10. One ten. Uh, Rudolph Valentino's dance specialty was the bango. Bingo! Charge! $240. $240. A dancer's swoon to the Tommy Dorsey theme song, I'm getting sort of mental over you. Uh, sentimental. Charge! Number 350. 350. At a ball and gone with the win, Rhett and Scar. Charlotte did the Are You For Real? Two waltz. Same level three. Ten dollars. Three ten. And Margaret made a sensation with her sexy dancing in Bye Bye Virtue. Birdie! Char. Level four thirty. Four thirty. Block. Four. four. Three. Two. One. Same level $50. four. Four fifty. A ballet section which features three dancers is called a menage a trois. Oh, I just said the same. Same level four. $10. Four ten. Block. Four. Four twenty in ballet. A turn on one foot is called a pirouette. Agnew. Pirouette. Char. Char. <laughs> Took your four bloopers there on the fourth level. So he ended up with two seconds on the clock. Very wisely called for the long shot. And now that takes him from the fourth level up to the sixth level. And now Nelda's going to place a secret block on that sixth level right now by pushing one of the three secret buttons on her podium. She has done that. There may also be a previously placed block there as well. But if you find the blooper and if you correct it, you'll win the game and have a chance at $25,000. Whoever wins this round does that. So there are three positions up there, David. Which one do you want? Well, now that you didn't block it before, I'll go for it again. 500. 500 in a ballet blanc. All the ballerinas wear nothing. Negligees. Wrong. Nelda is the champ. <laughs> oh, no. I was... Ballet blanc. Yes, ballet blanc. Come on over here, David. Come on over. <laughs> Step right on back here, Nelda. Wearing a negligee. <laughs> I love it. I've heard of it before. Now. That's all right. This, this is an educational program. On level three, at a ball, speaking of balls, and Gone with the Wind, Rhett and Scarlet did the Virginia reel. Then on level four, a ballet section which features three dancers, not a menage a trois. That's a pas de trois. Pas de trois. And in Ballet Blanc, all the ballerinas wear white, because that's what Blanc means. It means white. And we have a new, cha not a new, but our oh. champion remains oh. our champ, Nell <laughs> Cook. And we have to say goodbye to David Taft, who's learned an awful lot about ballet here today. <laughs> and bad guys. That, along with your dentistry, will help you out with the skydiving that you do and all the rest nice. of it. Hey, Rod Roddy, what do we have for David Taft? Well, Tom, we have elegant Reston Tawny Oak Dining Furniture by Keller. Exclusive Armor Guard high-pressure laminate tops help protect against spills and burns. Reston Dining Furniture from Keller. And David, thank you very much for playing uh, our game. You You're welcome. Best of luck to you. Well, Nelda, you did it again. Oh. 
She has earned $2,160, and, um, well, that's about all we have to say. This is going to be your third attempt. Incidentally, we have a maximum of five attempts on the show, but this will be your third one at the Gauntlet of the Villains for $25,000. Will she do it? Our grandmother from Saugus will find out after these words. Yes, she can do it. The deals are heating up. And it's time for me to bargain. So be cool with your dollars and cents, because getting great deals for pennies on the dollar just makes good sense. Sale of the Century, tonight at 7.30, only on Buzzer. The alphabet soup of Medicaid. SmileDirectClub.com This, ladies and gentlemen, is Nelda Cook. She has earned so far $2,160. All of her family and all of her friends out there in Saugus, and even back in Oklahoma. We, you're, what town is it in Oklahoma? Lokiba. Lokiba. Mm -hmm. Indian name, I guess. Right, huh? uh -huh. Is that all one thing? All one all word? All one word? Yes. How do you spell Lokiba? L-O-K-E-B-A. I want to introduce you to ten of the most amoral apparitions who ever stood between a Lokibite and her money. And here they are. Lokibite. Hey guys, a little gal from Lokiba wants to know what you have to say to her. Says you want a boogie? <laughs> I think that's what Lokiba means. Maybe. I mean, you boogie? Yes. All right. All you Maybe. have to do is get from villain number one through villain number ten. And if you do that, what you're going to do in just we a matter of moment, you got $25,000 in cash. So let's figure out how much time you have to do that. So you got 60 seconds plus one second for each $100 you earned in playing the game. So between charging and blocking, you won $130, which means you have one second added to the basic 60 seconds for a total of 61 seconds oh to beat the villains. But that's all right, it's your third time. Yeah, I'm So you're getting up. better. All right, you're all warmed up. So you take your hero position and I'll take mine. 61 seconds on the clock. The gauntlet and the clock will begin with the first bell. The largest city in South America is Buenos Dias. Buenos Aires. In 1938, Zsa Zsa Gabor won the title of Miss Goulash. Miss Hungary. D.W. Griffith's most important film was Birth of a Baby. Birth of a Nation. Ross MacDonald made up Lou Rawls. I don't know. To astronomers, a parsec is a measurement of parsley. Space. The largest number of tropical storms occur in the month of November. November. Dr. Doolittle's baby pig is called Porky. The low man in Marx in a West Point graduating class is called a dummy. A uh, cadet. Uh, a play, no. The longest Major League Baseball game ever played lasted 26 years. Hours. In 1783, Ben Franklin negotiated a peace treaty with Great Scott. Britain. Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo Baggins was aided by a wizard named Good Golf. Time's up. The number five she got up to what progress that's right so it's up to count nibble neck our vampire and so that means however you got through for it now step back here and see what they say it says they're hire a tutor <laughs> you went through four of them though you get another four hundred dollars that added to your previous winnings range you up to two thousand two hundred pardon me two thousand six hundred and ninety dollars and that's all for you now then of course you get to take on another challenger and maybe she'll have her fourth chance after these words it's a shopper's paradise on $250. Supermarket Suite. Yes! Tonight at 9, only on Buzzer. Hi, I'm Jimmy JJ. Go to homeserve.com or call now. It's our current champ, Nell the Cook. So far, she has earned $2,690 playing our game. And here now is your new challenger, ladies and gentlemen, Carl Blumenstein. Come in here, Carl. How are you? Big guy here. <laughs> Good guy, you're about six, uh, two and a half or three? Three or four. Six, three or four. What do, what do you do, Carl? I'm a student at Princeton University. I'm a vegetarian. I enjoy backgammon and backpacking. They told me you did something on the White House lawn. Oh, what was yeah. That? I'm the first person known to have played Frisbee on the White House lawn. You're the guy! Congratulations! <laughs> Who won, you or Jimmy? <laughs> No, it was back with Jerry. Back with Jerry in 1976. Oh, it was with yeah, Jerry. I was on this youth seminar thing. I see. And we were we just got on a special tour of the White House, and we were waiting out back on the White House lawn. Yeah. 
to uh, meet Jerry in the Rose yeah. Garden, and I happened to have a Frisbee tucked in my briefcase, and we had a few minutes, and there it was, and I've got the pictures to prove it. <laughs> Carl, the first board deals with animals, segment politics. But anyway, animals, what do you want to deal, what do you want to do with animals? You want to charge a block on that? I will block animals. Gonna block. All right, block animals, he's definitely going to do that. All right, I want you to charge on out of here, Nelda. You get on over there now, Carl. Nelda's going to go out of sight now. Oh, there she is. Okay, so as soon as she does that. Now, Carl, all you have to do is She's out there. Now, you play six blocks somewhere on that board. It's devoted to animals. What do you want to do? Um, little grandma's been pretty tough. I'm going to go yes. up to level two and block 10, 20, and 40. Uh-huh. Uh, level three, I'm going to block 20 and 30. Now, you have one left, Carl. Um, all the way up to level six, mm -hmm. I'm going to block 200. All right, okay, let's see how that works out for you. Here we go. Now the cook our current champ is coming back. The board deals with animals, and here comes Nelda. All right, of course, you know about the long shot and all that. Yes. 60 seconds on the clock. It's animals giving me the level and the money amount. Charge! Level 140. 140. The wazoo of one Alaskan moose measured 78 and one half inches. Antlers! Charge! Level 240. 240. Black. Four, three, two, two one. one. Same level two. Twenty. Two, twenty. Black. Four, three, two, one. Same level two. Fifty. Two, fifty. The bird that lays the largest eggs is the Wink Martindale. Ostrich. Charge. Level three, thirty. Three, thirty. Black. Four, three, two, one. Same level three. Twenty. Three, twenty. Black. Four, three, two. One. Same level three. Ten. Three ten. A male chicken is called a punk. Rooster. Charge. Level four forty. Four forty. Nick and Nora Charles' wire-haired terrier was named Scrub Brush. Asta. Charge. A long charge. Oh yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Ah. Oh, I was wondering. The reason she hesitated, she couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Long shot. <laughs> and you thought of it just in time, obviously. You only had one second left on that clock. All right, that takes you now from the fourth level up to the sixth level. And now, Carl, there are three secret buttons on your podium. Push one of them right now, which will place a secret block on the sixth level, and he has done that. There may also be a previously placed block as well, but if you find the blooper and if you correct it, you win the first round of the new game. Which one do you want? 500. 500 long shot, and Carl wins the round. He's been watching you. All right, come on over here. You know, you've been going for that 500 rather consistently, and I guess that's something that you observed, huh, big guy, Carl? Sure. Yes. Yeah, we've been right. watching. So it's one or nothing, Carl's favorite. We'll be right back. Don't you go away. Dazzling. Cleavage. Hysterical. Match game. It's where all cards aspire to be. Great. Tune in. Coming up next on Buzzer. We'll see you next time on... To receive an oil lamp in the Highlander design from Lamplight Farms, the world's largest manufacturer of oil lamps. Each lamp is especially designed to reflect the charm and glow of yesteryear. From the Jovan Fragrance Collection for Women, Musk Oil, Centrifuge Perfume, BSP Perfume, Woman by Jovan, and Sports Scent for Women. Legs, wide band, knee highs. The extra wide comfort band keeps them up comfortably without bagging or sagging. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. A serving tray and Archway Home Style Cookies. Over 30 delicious varieties baked from homemade recipes. Archway, the big cookie with a small town taste. This is Rod Roddy speaking. It's a production of the Bud Austin Company.